Howdy y'all, Bearded Carpenter here. I'm up on the second floor of the cabin and I'm getting ready to put uh, this base together for the second floor hoist. I've had quite a few questions and comments on the hoist that I used downstairs. People were interested in how I, I built that. Well, that particular hoist has been, I built it 10 or 12 years ago. All I did was put it together and stood it up, but I built a new one and I'll show you what I've got going here. I've got the pieces for the new hoist on the sawhorses here. I've got the, the parts cut out. I'm going to use the tractor to uh, set them up on the second floor. And I made kind of a makeshift jib boom here. It's not very pretty, but it'll, it'll pick them up. The, the boom that I'm strapped to, it's a little bit more than I wanted to pick up by hand and carry very far. But I'll be able to set the pieces up there without any trouble. got the three pieces that make up the base sitting here got them up on some blocks this is uh i think it's called an equilateral triangle where all three corners are the same degree same angle uh, all of my cuts were 30 degrees as you can see here it's pretty simple to cut this thing and to, to put it together actually you don't have a lot of different angles to deal with but this is all 30 degrees here this is 30 degrees of course this is square here but uh, i've got it laid out here to put together i've got my casters on there and i've got them bolted on with some half inch about three eighths lag bolts and just temporarily i'll put some screws in here just to hold it together and there will be 10 inch by half inch bolt that goes through this hole and hold the connection together all three corners will have a a bolt going through them to hold it together. I'm not sure how well that shows up, but I'll put these screws in just to kind of clamp it together, make it easy to put the bolt in. What I used was treated tuba sixes, it's the same thing that I used on the tall base, and I think they'll be strong enough to hold everything together and pick up it, about anything that I'll need to pick up. I put an extra block in at the corner to, to keep it separated, and I've got it held together with three and a half inch torque screws coming in from either side, There's several of them. And I put another block in the middle to kind of keep this spaced apart. And it also helps strengthen it too. And I put a little extra block here at the front. So when I put the bolt through there and start tightening it up, it won't pull this past where it needs to go. I can tighten it up and it'll stay where it's supposed to be. When you're drilling a hole like this, it's pretty long. You want to try to drill as straight as you possibly can. I did the same trick here. I had, I actually had the base, this is the bottom side that's up. I had the base turned over and I had a line drawn from here to the other side. And I used that to sight my long bit that I drilled this hole through. And it gave me a real straight hole. And actually the back of this, this angle right here where it comes together, that's where the bolt actually intersects that, right there. So that's the, the strongest point of it all the way across. But now all I've got to do is just tighten this nut. This part of the hoist will be connected together. I think that'll hold it. And I'll do the other two corners the same way. I'm 
before I turn this over, I'll go ahead and grease my caster wheels. We have a grease dirt here and one down here on all three of them. Okay, I've got my two legs here ready to put on. Now, it's not likely that you're going to be, able to be, be building a base this short as far as the height it'll actually pick up. The legs on the hoist that was used downstairs, these legs were a lot longer. They were about 13 feet long and real steep to hold the, the boom up. But just showing you what I did on this one, these legs are 62 and a half inches from, I'll show you, this long point down to where this long point actually came on out. I cut this off here so that I could get a bolt through there and put it in this little piece of an angle iron bracket and that will keep the, the leg from coming off the hoist. And this is anchored down through with, uh, I think they're five inch, three eighths lag bolts tightened down. And this is a, a piece of two by two angle iron it was actually on the, the other hoist that, uh, that I used to use. I'm kind of scavenging parts from it to build this one. The dolly wheels, the, the casters, the swivel casters were on it. And also the, uh, the winch and these uh, plates that are on this end. So I'll stand these up and bolt them together or slide the, the carriage bolt. This is a carriage bolt that I used here. I think it was like a seven and a half or eight inch carriage bolt. It goes through right here, and I'll put a washer and a nut on it, and that'll hold it at the bottom. Okay, I've got the legs on, bolted down at the bottom, and I put a just a block in between up here at the peak of the legs, and screwed a board on there, which would, would let the, the boom rest on this when I set it in, in between here. But I just set this in there just to get these spread to the right width, and then when I get the boom on there anchored at the bottom, I'll be able to run my all thread pieces through these holes and bolt it all together. I put some solid blocking in back here towards the back of the base where the bottom of the boom will set. And I wanted something pretty substantial there because I'm going to run some bolts all the way through this series of blocking. And I've got a piece right over here that I'm going to put on top and I'll cut another one to go underneath that and then I'll bolt that together going through this section of the, of the base here, I'll be able to bolt that and make that into a giant uh, wooden clamp to hold that down. Well, here it goes. Got it all together. The booms up, anchored in through the through the legs with the all thread going through tight. The winch is on. I've got a piece of strap metal underneath here, and this all thread that comes up and goes into the back. There's some slots here for the for them to go through. And there's also right here. There's there's two lag bolts that go down into the top of the beam. What I've done here at the back is the same thing that I used on the other hoist. It's uh, two pieces of three inch angle iron, quarter inch thick. Uh, there's a half inch bolt that goes through the bottom of the boom into the other piece there. And right here and right here are two, I think they're nine or nine and a half inch carriage bolts that comes up from underneath. If you remember, I put blocking solid blocking all in this area underneath the, the bottom edge of the boom. And I've put uh, 
an 8 inch 3 8 lag bolt down through here. I've got one more here. I was just, I've got to put it in and tighten it up. And I need to put a little bit more port back here for the, uh, the counterbalance. And I also put a, I guess you'd call it a wooden clamp. There's a half inch carriage bolt that goes down. And I've got a little short board that goes across underneath the blocking that's underneath this board here that the bottom of the boom sits on. I did this on both sides and that kind of forms a clamp on all that blocking because that blocking is actually just screwed into the, the sides here. And so I wanted just a little bit more insurance. I don't know that it had to have it, but I just went another step with it there. And I've got this caught underneath here. It, it's bolted together so it shouldn't ever slip one way or the other. On this boom, this is two tuba eights. I went the extra expense and bought number one. Uh, they, they cost a little bit more, but I would rather spend a little bit more and make sure that I had some strong enough boards to laminate together. And what I did, I, uh, I got some treated uh, half-inch plywood and sandwiched in between here. And I used construction adhesive on both sides of the, of the plywood and laid it in there really heavy. You can see where some of it has kind of squeezed out there. But I, I did that and I clamped it together and I put the torque screws in there, all down through there. Here at the top is strap metal. It's quarter inch by three inch. I tilted it up just a little bit at the peak of the boom. So if that pulley, would, uh, where the cable actually rides in the pulley, it will be up above the boom itself, not be cutting into the boom. And it just worked out pretty good where when the cable's hanging vertically, it doesn't touch anything and it doesn't, doesn't ride too much on the, the top of the, the boom up there at the very top of it. So I'm going to go ahead and run this in and call it good for today. It's ready now to put the counter, counterbalance on and it'll be ready to, to lift up logs and set them on the wall.